I get asked regularly now why I wrote the book Understanding Venus Reflux. And I also get asked who it's aimed at. Is it actually for the public or is it for healthcare professionals, doctors and nurses? Well, the first thing, why did I write it? We now know that venous reflux disease, whether it's varicose veins or when any of the other problems, venous eczema, aching legs, all the way through to leg ulcers, affects almost one in two people. It's about between one in two and one in three people, 40%, 35%. And with so many people in the world having that problem, really there should be a better public understanding of the condition. Other conditions that affect people with far less uh, incidence of that are really well recognised and talked about all the time. And for some reason, people aren't interested in veins until they've got the problem or until they've got a worse problem, something like leg ulcers. So the book is there to describe how the veins cause the problems and also start to give a hint as to why we treat them and how we treat them. As to who we've aimed it for, it's aimed very much at everybody. It's easy enough to understand for any member of the public who's got any background in biology. So if, so if you've done biology at school and you go right from page one all the way through to the end of the book, you will fully understand veins and how they form and how they go wrong. If you're a healthcare professional, or if, such as a nurse or a general practitioner or even a surgeon, you'll be able to really skim through the first few chapters which explain the basics. But by chapter 4, 5, 6 onwards, you'll really be learning new things that unless you read all the latest research papers, you won't really find anywhere else at the current time. So really, if you want to know anything about veins and how they cause problems, whoever you are, you will find something useful in this book.